so now coming to the positivities of the movie what makes mahan mahan so in spite of 2 hours 45 minutes of the movie uh, the painful length of the movie as i already said uh, vikram is a character who makes you hooked and booked with the movie you are engaged to the movie in spite of the length of the movie because of the screen presence of the charismatic stylish vikram and what fantastic variations this particular person brings to his role his character kartik subrajo as uh, the director of the movie has explored vikram in such a way that he has extracted extreme talented scenes and also extremely good layers of uh, vikram's acting and vikram is such an actor the more you work on him the more he reveals the more uh, shades he displays the more characters the more different colors of the characters he gives to his particular role and the more layers of his acting you can see as a teacher as a liquor baron as a rowdy as a doting father as a husband as a friend various shades uh, vikram has shown various uh, what we can call it as uh, different classifications of uh, role in every particular role he has justified his screen presence with his tremendous acting and uh, vikram's expressions vikram's emotions i've grown uh, seeing this particular man uh, this particular actor at this particular age though his son is also acting uh, with him in this particular movie what a performance what a performance uh, by vikram he is a person who puts out everything his heart his soul his sense everything in the movie and uh, brings out that particular depth of his role in the character and you feel every time you see him on the screen that he has given something different vikram chian vikram is a thorough entertainer i should tell especially watch out for his role in the second half of the movie wherein he displays so many emotions especially the rage the helplessness the frustrations those uh, emotions which he gets are so natural and spontaneous and what else works for uh, the movie Dhruv Vikram is the second character second powerful character he comes around the interval and his screen presence is really awesome and his chemistry with uh, uh, Mr Vikram just watch out for it superb superb I should tell he plays uh, a merciless uh, police officer and uh, his name in the movie is Dada Bhai Naroji his father's name is Gandhi and his name is uh, Dada Bhai Naroji in the movie such a paradox both freedom fighters name both good souls and the characters they play are totally contrasting to those uh, historical characters as i already said uh, as vikram has various shades and various layers to his character uh, we can see uh, dhruv vikram in a single uh, shade a single uh, frame and a single uh, uh, emotion or a single layer uh, no much uh, contrasting layers or the transitions in his uh, character has been given and uh, we don't uh, get to see a lot of uh, variations in his acting but whatever he has done he has justified his role and he looks really good and the next most important character very interesting character in this movie is uh, played by bobby simha ultimate i should call him as uh, the second best after vikram putting uh, dhruv vikram as uh, the third important and the third best character bobby simha uh, screen presence his dialogues his action perfect and his uh, role also his character also has various layers next immediately after uh, vikram he gets a meaty role in this uh, movie and he does perfect justice to his role sanant plays uh, the role of rocky and uh, his screen presence is also good muttu kumar as uh, gnanam and uh, simran as a uh, wife of vikram have also small cameos uh, in the movie they have also justified their roles coming to the story of uh, the movie uh, mahan uh, it is not mahan at all uh, as i already said it is a much predictable story and uh, coming to the screenplay the screenplay is uh, very fast and tight in the first half uh, as i already said and the screenplay little bit drops down the story narration little bit drops down in the second half early part of uh, the second half only to pick up in the last half an hour or so kartik subraj as i said uh, is the director of uh, the movie mahan and the movie has a typical typical touch of kartik subraj with dark and lighter shades he makes the movie raw rustic colorful magnanimous and superb when i said the movie is colorful i need to uh, give a hats off to the cinematographer the camera work is superb shreyas krishna has done a commendable uh, job in capturing different emotions capturing different frames different locations in a very colorful way and the movie runs in different time zones and according to that particular time zones the color gradient the lighting everything has been worked out in a very very good way 
and how can i forget santosh narayanan the music director the background music of the movie i'm not speaking about the songs of the movie they're not really interesting or not worth remembering but the background score background score i cannot call it as a background score or the background music it is a part and parcel of the movie brilliance of santosh narayanan is that he has created such an effective background uh, uh, music or the background score in this particular um, movie that it fits into every frame and it fits into every emotion of the movie and the music the background music is not just a music it is a part of the story it is stitched very tightly with the emotions and the different frames of the story the movie also carries uh, as i said the strong philosophies uh, at its background can you make a mahatma of a person just with a cane just on the gun point what is mahan what is greatness how is greatness defined are mahatmas made are mahatmas manufactured these are some of the questions uh, which uh, the movie raises and another question uh, which uh, the movie also raises is uh, the impact of the parents on the children certain parents are definitely dictate terms uh, in their children's life and nurture their brains and the thought process in such a way that they make their kids to live the life as they want to is it right what impact it is going to do on the child as the child grows into adolescence and also into an adult the fear and embarrassment of being someone else apart from being themselves because they have been trained in such a way is really humiliating and painful and here the independency of the growth of a soul is hampered blocked choked and killed is it all right now let me come to my favorite uh, scenes one particular scene a single long shot wherein vikram in a drunken state fights with so many gundas that particular fight sequence you need to see wonderfully picturized number 2 the meeting point of father and son in the movie that particular scene wherein the bgm is really powerful and the dance around the colorful uh, environment in and around the dance the beats the way vikram is dancing the way dhruv is uh, dancing and when they get introduced to each other it is goosebump and a visual blow moment number 3 the unpredictable climax the really unpredictable climax even after the climax in the post credit scene uh, when you see a particular scene you would uh, feel oh is it was it really required you definitely get a feel and the unconventional way in which the movie ends even before the credits that keeps you in a shock that arises many questions in your mind just watch out for the climax of uh, mahan uh it is different now coming to the negativities of the movie definitely the length of the movie i did not mind because uh, as i already said vikram uh, kept me engaged uh, uh, throughout the movie and uh, the length of the movie would definitely trouble uh, uh, watching this it is painful to us 45 minutes of uh, the movie i genuinely felt the movie should have been trimmed by at least 15 to 20 minutes to make it uh, more catchy and more gripping so coming to my final verdict on uh, the movie mahan uh mahan is uh, a okay type of uh, one time watch there is nothing uh, new nothing special uh, in the movie as i already said it is all about vikram uh, if you just want to sit and watch uh, the spectacular and magnificent acting of uh, vikram if you are a hardcore vikram fan uh, and if you also love to watch uh, gangster uh, movies with a little bit of crime and especially so if you are waiting to watch the father son combo on the screen and uh, what chemistry they create you can watch mahan on amazon prime so mahan is not a super movie it is a different gangster movie with a predictable story with a different treatment and of course with vikram on board on my scoreboard i will go with uh, 6 out of 10 for uh, mahan and uh, yes 9 9.5 out of 10 for Mr. Vikram. Thanks for watching my video. If you loved my video, kindly like, share, and subscribe to my channel. I'll catch up with you all in my next video with another movie review. Until then, do take care. Goodbye. Namaste.